are. You're breaking my heart. You're shaking my confidence, stealing. Oh, Cecilia, I'm down on my knees. I'm begging you, please, to come home. To come home. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Isolation Diaries. So today, I thought I would do like a follow me around vlog type thing because I am going to see Dr. Stuart Corth, who is a cranio osteopath and I did actually speak about him in my last video. So if you don't know what I'm on about, go and watch my last video and then come back to this one. Um, so I'm going to go and see him today. But first, we are testing out the brand new soda stream that my grandma bought my mum for her birthday. She actually got one um, on her actual birthday, but it didn't work. As soon as we put the bottle in and filled it up to the fill line, we'd press the button that's supposed to like put the carbonation in the water and it, it like the water just spilled everywhere. Um, it was rubbish, wasn't it? So <laughs> we took it back and they were kind enough to take it back because we said it didn't work. And we got a new one, we got the latest version, which is like a bit more high tech, like you have to plug this one in, unlike the last one. But we're about to try it, so let's see how this goes. Have you filled up to the fill line? It might help if I plugged it in. Yeah, that always helps. So mm. basically, with the last one, there was one big button at the top, and you pressed it and it would like, Put the carbonation into the water but this time you've got three options you've got fizzy more fizzy and like most fizzy so mother how fizzy would you like water <gasps> medium medium should i press it okay yeah, let's go wow how effective oh, I love that. oh wow It definitely worked better than the last one, that's, that's better, for sure. Yeah. That's better, isn't it? Wait, who's going to do the taste test? Oh, moi. Oh, a wine glass. Thank you. Oh, look at that. That looks good. <laughs> How is it? That's not bad. <laughs> is it better than last time? Ooh. Fizzier. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You happy? Happy with that? <laughs> Mum's just spilt water everywhere. Has it got has it got one of those um, things in it? Let me try some. Mm, that is good actually. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna try. Um, it's actually quite good, isn't it? Nice fizzy water. Yeah. And it's saving the environment as well because you're not using plastic bottles. No. So, so we've just arrived at the clinic where I'm going okay, to have no, my treatment done. Um, hopefully Stuart will let us film a little bit. But I'm going to put my mask on now because safety first, folks. So that's it. I've just had my appointment. It was it was quite quick, wasn't it? Um, he said, so I said last time I had it, it, I was in loads of pain after. But he said this time I probably won't be because he didn't do the exact same thing as last time. But for those of you who have missed it and didn't see my last video, basically I'm seeing the cranio osteopath for very severe chronic pain that I get. Um, that is sort of caused by an unknown, an unknown cause. So... So far it's been really good, um, so let's hope that continues. What are we doing now? Are you asking me? Yes. We're going to Tunbridge Wells. We're going to Tunbridge Wells and we're going to go for a walk. My grandmother is in the car with us. Say hello, Grandma. Hello. Hello. Say hello, Mother. Hello. Yeah, so we're going for a walk in Tunbridge Wells. It's supposed to be very nice. So yeah. She's getting very bossy, your mother. <laughs> I've got the 
that on film. <laughs> Actually, I quite like me in these because it's done to show my face. Yeah, like same. Them. Yeah, so we have. Oh, I'm going to try this for the seventh time. We've been for a walk. And Grandma bought loads of clothes in M&S and we bought five books all together, two for me, three for you. I just touched your face. No, I didn't. I went like that. Oh my God, it's a nightmare. I just want to get out of here and get home, to be honest. Shopping is stressful nowadays, especially when no one else is paying attention to social distancing or wearing masks or gloves or anything, so. We just got home. Is there anything better than fresh watermelon? No. And this one's a really good one as well. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hello everybody. So we arrived home from being out, you know, uh, maybe like an hour ago. And I just thought that I would address something that some of you may be wondering about. I am, officially categorized as high risk because of all of my medical conditions and especially the fact that I have had transplants and I am immunosuppressed. Therefore, I am supposed to be shielding, which I am for the most part. I will put that out there right now. So some of you may be wondering why I have been out, like in public places, um and i just i wanted to talk about it because you know i think as somebody who has so many medical conditions it's important for me to make decisions about my own health especially as a nearly 21 year old you know it's nice to have some sort of control over my life and control over the decisions i make and I have decided, along with my family, that in some circumstances it is okay for me to be out in public areas. And recently, much more recently, even shops. I think the main thing I have to be aware of, obviously, is other people. Because other people are not going to be as careful as my mum and I are or my family and I are, because we know that I'm high risk. We know also from years and years and spent in hospitals and stuff, we know, you know, how to keep ourselves clean and how to keep ourselves safe from infection. And I think now that lockdown's been lowered and, you know, things are reopening, people are sort of just getting on with it and forgetting the importance of wearing masks and keeping their hands clean. But rest assured, despite the fact I am going out, I am being so careful. Like, I wear a mask all the time. I wear gloves if I'm in a shop. I won't go in a shop if it's too busy. I am staying the full two metres away from people. Um, and I just wanted to say, you know, there's probably loads of transplant patients that haven't even been out of their house or their garden and you know what that is so fair enough and it's everybody's personal decision you know i don't want the government to decide something for me when they don't even know me my decision recently it's only been a couple of times including today is that in the right circumstances when it's not too busy and i know i can keep myself safe i have been going into public and technically breaking my shielding, and I guess that includes also leaving the house and going to visit Stuart Corth at his clinic, because that includes going outside. But as I said, you know, that's my personal decision. I've decided at this moment that I need to have a life. I need to live, I need to do stuff. I can't go much longer just, you know, sat inside watching things or doing nothing. So that is a decision that I've made along with my family and I am still making sure that I am as safe as I can be despite not technically shielding as much as I should be. I just sort of wanted to address it in case anybody was wondering, you know, 
it's each their own. If you completely disagree with me, fair enough. If you think that you would do the same thing if you were in my situation, fair enough. I guess it is just everybody's choice. But I would really encourage you, whoever you are, if you haven't had a transplant, if you haven't had chronic illness, if you are as healthy as they come, please think about others. Please be careful, be respectful, wear masks, wear gloves if you can, don't be in people's personal space, just try and be considerate. You may not be affected by the virus, but other people might be more than you would be. So think of that, think of other people. But yeah, so I'm sort of now in semi-isolation, so I don't know whether I should start calling these the semi-isolation diaries. I don't know. Let me know what you think, but yeah. So that's me, that's my life at the moment. Um, I'm just about to sit down and watch an episode of Goliath, which is so good. Me and my family are obsessed with it. They watched an episode without me last night. Rude. So I need to catch up before this evening so that we can watch the last one of the season together. And I'm so excited. And if you have Amazon Prime, I would really highly recommend watching Goliath because it is so good. It's so good. But yeah. Cecilia, See ya later. You're breaking my heart. You're shaking Bye. my confidence, dealing. Oh, Cecilia, I'm down on my knees. I'm begging you please to come home, to come home.